and to each week's letter. Yeah. So that's around probably March. Are you guys doing a pretty quick pass? So after a while, something fun will happen. As, as, as you can already see, like it's changed quite dramatically as it is. It's gone from a white uh, sugar to a yellow colour, and now it's going black. Can any, anybody guess what's occurring? Yeah. So does, does anybody actually know what sulfuric acid essentially is? Yeah. So it's pretty much a dehydrating agent. And so what's going on is that. If we look at the structure of sucrose, uh, which you actually haven't got in here, but you know, if, if you think about the glucose, yeah, if you think about the glucose, it has all these hydroxy groups coming off it. What happens is that the acid attacks these hydroxy groups and actually makes them come off as water. And then, so what, what happens is the sugar, as the sugar becomes dehydrated, it loses all its water, and you're left with what? Carbon, essentially, your black, your black stuff, and so it rises up like a black snake. Very old South Park records. Okay, and so a question you've been <laughs> so questions you've been asking them while it's occurring. You know, what is the black coal made of? As you already said, it's carbon. Uh, is heat generated or is heat being distributed through action? It's generated. It's, it generated. So if you were to go around and touch that, you would burn your hand. I actually burnt my hand a bit last week when I was touching it, unfortunately. Uh, so yeah, a lot of heat is being generated. So it's, what's the word for that? It's exothermic. Okay, and so that's another lead in. You can start mentioning exothermic and endothermic reactions, which are then covered more in detail in Unit 4. Uh, and another thing you could do with them is after this, you can try to get them to try to balance the equation. You give them the formula of sucrose, which is C11, uh, H22, uh, O11. And uh, uh, people make a few mistakes here in assuming that, because essentially sucrose is two glucose monomers, and so you combine them together, 